Hello everybody, welcome to my video about improving safety at the stock power supply of the ANET A8 3D printer. The 12 volt 20 amps switching power supply comes in a very good quality compared to other power supplies, but there is still room for improvements. I found two major problems at the stock BSU, one being the open contacts just protected with a plastic clip and the second the heat it produces during operation. Starting off with the input brackets, the first problem is the lack of a strain relief. Therefore, the supplying cable can be pulled out quite easily, exposing a big hazard. Although the contacts itself are protected with a plastic clip, it's still not protected enough. Therefore, it's possible to touch the contacts, resulting in an electric shock. My solution includes a printed part as well as the socket for mains power. This socket, which is of the same kind as the ones found at PC power supplies, additionally contains a fuse and an illuminated rocker switch that switches both the neutral and the hot wire. I ordered it for about $1.20 on Aliexpress. The switch shipped with a 10 amps fuse, but with the following calculation I realized that with my country's 230 volt network a 2 amps fuse should suffice as well. With an 120 volts infrastructure I'd use a 3 amps fuse. The whole unit is held in place with these clips but because of the printed part is a little bit too thick, I had to shorten them by about 2mm. This switch is not screwed, therefore it doesn't fit very tightly and wobbles a bit, but this shouldn't cause any problems. The connections should be created in the same way as I did, with the wires going through the holes and then being soldered on. Furthermore, I also soldered over these plates connecting with the pins, just to be secure. Something I had to find out the very hard way is the side where the neon lamp has its connections to. The small lamp should only light when the switch is on. In addition to that, the color code should be taken into account. Green yellow stands for the protection earth, blue the neutral and brown or black the hot wire. I mounted the printed part on the right side with a zip tie going through the two holes the power supply provides. Because of this one sided fixing, the whole thing opens up on the left side, but for this another print comes handy. To avoid overheating of the PSU, it's important to mount a fan on its case. But as a disclaimer, I have to say that I find it really important to address a warning to everybody. A power supply can have dangerous loads inside even when unplugged, just waiting to discharge on you. Therefore, only open up the power supply when you know what you're doing, otherwise mount a fan using zip ties. After opening the device via the screw on the top left and the screw on the bottom left, I mounted a 90mm fan I found on an old PC case with the help of three 30mm long M3 screws and corresponding nuts and washers. Do not open the screw on top, because the top plate acts as a heatsink for the switching transistors, otherwise you risk destroying the device. To get a 90mm fan that blows air from the inside of the power supply out, safe to touch, I also printed a protecting cover. The fan is connected to the connection terminals and the cable is guided on the case. While the plug and switch addition allows for easily switching on and off, it also protects you from getting an electric shock when you touch near the contacts or accidentally pull on a cable. The fan really cools the power supply. Without it, the top plate got very hot to touch, while now it's only slightly exceeding room temperature. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. 